Hey everybody, Paul Turner here from the thediscipleproject.net here with a lesson for you today uh, that uh, came to me by way of Twitter. Uh, you know, it was one of those lessons, those things maybe you've experienced this where you see something, you hear something, and you're immediately drawn in, and the Holy Spirit just begins to break it down for you right there and says, this is what I'm talking about. This is what this story really means. And so I happen to be on Twitter, and uh, I was uh, saw a headline that said, uh, uh, have you ever seen a church within a church? And immediately, I just went, I got to look at that. And so here's this young lady in uh, Scotland uh, walking around and, and happened to pass by this church and was in, enamored by just some little details, right? Some little details she saw. And you can see in the picture that I'm going to show you as I go along. Uh, I'll show you the little journey that, uh, that she took and that what made me just break down in my head and go, wow, this is a powerful thought here. Uh, but she sees this little sign, uh, Creso in Welsh. Uh, it just means welcome, and uh, she tweets about that, and then she notices another little detail and sees the little dog bowl there and says, well, what a caring church, you know. Uh, uh, and I, once again, I don't want to say that I don't know if this young lady is a believer or not a believer, but her journey, though, is fascinating the way she kind of progresses through her tweets here. Well, she says, well, she's going to go in. And she goes into the church and she takes a picture of that and sees that it's just gorgeous. And as you can see, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful church. And that's not what blows her away, though. What blows her away is, is she sees over to the side a model of the church within the church. The model of the exact church that she is standing in is a model right there. She is standing right in front of that. And you can see the pictures here. She takes of that and she tweets that out. And she is just blown away by the fact that there is a model within the church uh, of the exact church. She looks on the wall and she sees uh, the, that this uh, uh, organization called the Shed Club uh, winds up building this thing. And winds up uh, just declaring and puts a little a little sheet up there, as you can see, of all the detail that went into building this uh, this structure. And it's, I believe it's it's a one forty eighth inch scale. And so it just talks about the time and the energy and all that that goes into all that. And then she is once again not only enamored with that, she's like looking around and going, why aren't why aren't people people are in this church? Why aren't anybody looking at this? This is amazing over here, but people are just sort of wandering around. And she's she's looking at this church within the church. That's not even the, the, the real deal, she says. She goes on and she says, oh my, look at this. This is amazing. She sees and looks outside, the, sees the front of the model of the church and sees the little sign uh, that says Cresso on it. And the dog bowl that down to the very detail, she is looking at this and is blown away by it, is totally worth uh, uh, tweeting out pictures and commentary and all these things about it. I thought, man, what an amazing thing. And then I began to think the Holy Spirit just began to break this thing down to me. I says, you know what, Paul? People are looking for the church within the church. You know, they're looking for the model, that which was established within scripture these core principles of what church means. And that's what was blowing her away, was the detail, the attention to detail that she walked into the church and was blown away by this. And I know you're way ahead of me already. I know you're already, your head's already moving and spinning by the fact that it says, listen, this, this young lady was blown away. And how many times do we want people to be blown away? We want people to walk into our churches and see the model that Christ established, that we see in the book of Acts, that we see uh, 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 Christ setting up here. And that's what we want people to experience, isn't it? I mean, that's just a powerful thought. Now, you can take all the pictures that I've just shown you today and, and begin to formulate your own uh, ideas of what that means to have a model of the church within the church. But what here's what I have done. I have taken this story and I have basically mapped it out as I would teach it. Uh, I've already mapped it out. I've uh, all the, the PowerPoints there. There's opening activity ideas. There's closing activity ideas, all these kind of things. And I know you're already way ahead of me. I know your brain's already moving in that direction. But what a great way to hit the reset button in your youth ministry by asking kids and saying, listen, what does it mean to model the church? What does it mean to 
to uh, spend time in detail over something that's so important to Jesus. And it's not the structure, it's not the building, it's all the core principles that Jesus baked into his church that when you invite friends and when you invite people, we wanna see people who don't know Christ come in, we want them to see the model of the church. So if you are interested uh, in this at all, I have put it up in my store. It's only like five bucks. It's a great way for you to support this channel if you'd like to do that and say, look, Paul, appreciate the time and energy. Uh, that's something so desperately that my youth group needs to hear and the church at large needs to hear of what it means to be a model of the church. Uh, I include all the little details, the photos, all that kind of stuff for you. So if you're interested in that, I would love for you to go over to the store. There'll be a link down in the description below and you can go check it out. Would love for you to uh, partake in that and then let me know what you think. Uh, if you're brand spanking new, by the way, thanks for hanging out for a little while. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Hopefully you found this of value. Enough to the point that you're willing to click on my little head over here somewhere and you're saying, hey, listen, I'm willing to subscribe and want to be part of this community and offer my comments and things like that. Would love to have you be a part. If you're a regular, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you here. I have also listened uh, to your uh, poll. I put a poll up not too long ago and you're looking for more tips, tricks, uh, ministry hacks, all that kind of good stuff. I am planning quite a bit of that. So don't forget to uh, leave your comment down below. Let me know what you think of this lesson. What do you think about being a model church and what does that mean to your youth ministry? Love to hear your comments. Hit the thumbs up button. Some of you like it and you want more of it. And until next time, guys, I love you guys. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next video.